Today I will be talking about one of the tricks that you can use to obtain the rune that you are looking for a bit cheaper compared to what they are selling directly in the market. For example, if we go take a look at my runes here, I have all yellow and two legendary one here and I end up getting this legendary rune here for about 40 thousand and this one for forty five thousand which i had to purchase directly and the two yellow runes for the offhand i got them for a total of maybe sixteen thousand so that was really cheap and how i end up doing that let's talk about that so for example if we go take a look at the rune smithing here and go to the runesmithing option i needed to offhand one so what i did we need 80 i want to craft the offhand one and if we were to go and take a look at the market and uh, see what they are selling for they are selling for about twelve thousand seven hundred each the offhand one and if we go take a look at the ATI one, yesterday they were selling for 2000 only and uh, I ended up buying those. So it costed me really uh, not that much to get those runes. So that was a smart move of getting ATI one runes and then uh, combining that to craft the uh, URS one. And uh, that is true for the uh, beneficial duration one as well if we go take a look here this is selling for about 21,000 in my server right now and if we go take a look at the uh, CIR if you can get lucky you can purchase these for about 5k or 4k and combine that into a beneficial one but now let's talk about the legendary one if we go take a look at the LAZ uh, this is the one that i got for the chest it gives me a shield when i am about to die somewhat decent in uh, pve and pvp if you have a lot of tankiness could be helpful especially for uh, some tanks like uh, barbini or even tempest really good and this is selling for 80 000. if we go take a look at the fa yesterday this was selling for 12 000, so I end up purchasing those copies and uh, 12, 12, 12, you guys can uh, guess that was really cheap for me to just buy those three times and uh, craft one myself. And uh, this is like selling for 80,000. So it is a smart move or a trick that you can use to uh, get few runes a bit cheaper now that is out of the way it does not mean the legendary runes are better in all scenarios for example this is my pvp setup but for uh, pve uh, let's say for speed farming this is what i use and uh, i am not using one legendary rune and uh, two yellow runes for example if we go remove this let's quickly remove these blues here if i use lightning nova it gives me movement speed which is good and if we use it again go check the movement speed how much we have we have 64 percent movement speed right now so for pve especially farming this is what i use instead of the yellow one that gives me more skill damage it has 3% movement speed and it does stack with everything else so now if i use this and go and check out the movement speed it is 70 percent which is a cap so it might be a better idea to keep some of the different runes and speaking of different runes it is same a story with the chest rune here i have the one that uh, gives me Loss of control duration on affected enemies are increased by 16%, but I don't need that in most of PvE, especially farming content. So I'm using CIR, which helps me do a bit more damage. Monsters have a 9% chance to explode on that, dealing 
100% of its maximum damage to nearby enemy block chances increased by 2% well we getting some block chance here as well but you guys get the uh, idea not all runes are best for everything so keeping different set of runes is going to be your best friend and speaking of different runes in my opinion the beneficial duration one is better than the one that is uh, OTH it gives you skill cooldown unless you are a tempest and barbarian maybe then you will uh, like this a lot more so you can have your skill cooldown on the flowing strike and some other abilities since they don't have all that cooldown on the uh, awakened slot so it could be better in that scenario but for some classes like wizard having more beneficial duration is going to be better but there we go some tips and tricks for the runes what is going to be best for you and how can you uh, actually buy some cheaper one from the market and then turn them into a higher quality one that way you can end up saving some platinum i'm signing off see you all in the next month uh, you guys have a great day later